Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some Europa Universalis 4 as Aragon in our Consulate of the Sea campaign. Last we left off, we were to declare war on Genoa. We're going to declare for, I think, Genoa proper. We need that center of trade. It's going to make us a lot of money if we get that. So let's declare there. We're fighting Siena, Verdun, and a couple other people. Fable State's allied to Genoa, actually, but he won't join the war. So that's good. Alright, so let's see if we can march out of there. Well, you're black flag, so... You don't matter. We still have, um... Let's see. Well, an extension of Ravensburg was demanded. This is the heir? Damn it, that's interesting. So we need the Diplo, but we have a six... We have a six Diplo heir, and then we need the military, but... No, we need, we need Diplo, so he's got a six Diplo... We have a six Diplo heir, but this guy is, um, he's a weak claim heir. So we're trying to get rid of him, huh? Yeah. I recall now what we were trying to do. Okay, Palantinet will give cores Straussing and Regensburg to Bavaria. Palantinet will give core Baden to Baden. Okay. And apparently we're not worth Babel State. That's unfortunate. Well, at least that saves us a damn relationship slot, doesn't it? Yep. And I could take this Defender of the Faith again. Give us some morale of armies, which would be pretty cool. Uh, I'll hold off for now. Let's go and get everybody over here. So level three. Fucking hell. Um, we already have the air with siege on the on the on the siege over here, so that's good. Apparently, they can call an Austria into this war. I'm not going to though. I don't need his help. I think we're gonna be fine. Um. You know what? Yeah, actually, if we can take if we can take Avignon, I'm actually gonna give that to Bronze. I'm actually thinking we probably have made an enemy of the Papal State here, um, which is actually fine with me because I wouldn't mind expanding into northern. Um, I wouldn't mind, you know, I wouldn't mind expanding over here into these positions. That'd be totally fine. Um, can't get there. Can't get to Siena either. Whoa, he's got some serious morale. Okay. He's got pretty good boats. He's got pretty good boats compared to our fleet. Okay, captured two ships. Okay, so we got nine lights, four galleys, 15 transports. Not bad. Um, I do need to get to Corsica, so let's go and do that. I actually do believe I can fully annex... I do believe I can fully annex Genoa. Let's see. Yeah, 95%. So it, it could be a full annexation. The, the aggressive expansion might be too much for us to deal with, but... It could be a full annexation. I wonder if we can go for Siena. That'd be nice. We're fighting Verdun too. Uh, yeah, I'll call a diet here. Raise additional levies. Grant a generalship. No, that wouldn't come in handy. Um, we'll leave you alone then for now. We're making some okay money. Let's see. What's this? We got high income, apparently. Aragon gets a growing economy. Okay. Um, let's go and relieve that siege of Napoli. Okay. You would no leader, we still did pretty good. Could go for Rome. 
Let's see, we got Croatian Separatists up there. Why don't we go for um, possibly Siena, I think? Let's go and evade there. And then we can straight up just march here to Fidenze. We only need seven troops for that. Um, I can put... So I can put a, a, a high maneuver general in charge for that so that we don't take as much attrition. And then that siege... Let's see, this is only level one, so we don't even need that many troops here. We need four. Oh, okay, never mind. No, now we're stuck. Okay, I think Luca gave us access at one point. Now he didn't. Let's see, build buildings. Uh, we get 50 admin, and we get tax income plus 10 for probably like 10 years. Sweet. Cool. We gave that. Let's give this to Provence. We will take that with turn core there. Um... Transfer this guy over here, I think. There's Genoese troops there. They must have retreated all the way to northern Germany, I'm guessing. Fuck. I don't know if we're gonna win that. I don't think so. No. Shit. Oh, really? Fuck. Okay. Apparently we have a disaster from the burgers. Hmm. God damn it. Motherfuckers. <clears throat> Why are you going all the way up north, dude? Nice. Transfer trade power. Yep. Okay, you stay there. Okay, so the heirs died. Okay. So the heirs died. No legal heir. We would get um, a noble from House von Habsburg. We lost a good siege guy, though. <laughs> That's kind of unfortunate. He's a pretty good siege leader. You know what this game does need? Whoa, that's a lot of war score. Yeah, we might need to take Rome for this. It's a lot of war score. Let's transfer these troops to Napoli. Yeah, you know what this game does need is they need to have that feature from CK2, whereas if you out uh, outnumber a garrison, if you outnumber a garrison, you did we occupy Verdun? Oh yeah, we did. Damn it. Thanks, Lorraine. That's nice. What's this? Advancement Religion Act. That's a shit ton of troops. Ottomans declared war on the Mamluks again. Dude, they're just steamrolling over there. 74,000 men for the fucking Ottomans. Oh my god. Uh, we're gonna say Catholic, so we'll go ahead and... We'll go ahead and uh, crack down on that heresy. We only have two war exhaustion, which is pretty light. That is such bullshit, though. France being allied to Morocco. That would never happen in real life. Come on. Um, we need him to his Noel's treaties, too. Yeah, plus he's actually got some pretty decent money. So we're going to have him return cores and all his treaties with Austria. He's going to return Avignon to, the Provence, uh, to Provence. So we're just going to wait. We're going to wait for the siege. I don't want to defend the faith, actually. We're fine. I don't care too much about it. See, I can't force you to break your alliance. 
The bastard. I mean, I can I can probably fight both of them. Well, Austria wouldn't join. Well, Austria would join if I declared a war on France proper. And Austria is pretty numerous. He's got 50,000. France has got 34. I can focus in North Africa easily. I'd be I'd be just fine. And then France just deals with the rest. France would deal with Castile. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, that war would go pretty good, I think. It actually wouldn't be that bad. Sunni Zealots, Rosemary Figuig. What the hell? We're not even trying to convert that place anyway. Holy shit, we just got a stack wipe right there, the people State. That was really good. Holy shit, we fully occupied all the people State. Look at that. That's cool. Um... I mean, the missionary strength is nice, but I'd probably go for... Probably go for tech. Probably like every time. Oh, you know what I wanted to check out also? Was for this achievement, do I have to stay as Aragon? I think I have to be Aragon. I don't think I can form Spain. Which does change what we're going to do with Castile. I mean, annexing um, Naples is fine. That's not a problem. Well, let's destroy the rest of that navy first. So... Oh, wow, look at that. Conquering all of Genoa? That's not even a coalition. Sweet. Okay, so no trees with Austria. Give me war reps. You're gonna give me your money. That's it. That's done there. And then a full annexation of Genoa. Fuck! Oh, yeah, hold on. Uh, Milan, Montfort, Siena, Montreal, Luca, Venice, Genoa, Burgundy. Well, Genoa's gonna go away. It'd be Burgundy, and even then, he's not that bad. Venice, eh, Siena, Montfort, Montreal, Milan. That's not enough of a coalition to, to declare, I don't think. Um, not to mention, though, he does have... Well, I can't make them into a core anyway. So he's gonna be stuck over there. No trees with the people's state. I'm getting me war reparations. Okay. Wow, look at that. Really? Only 3.5 autonomy? Holy shit. That's cool. Well, that worked out well. Yeah, it, it, it may be coalition. I, I don't think they'll declare, though. I really don't. I don't think they would declare. Okay, so this plutocratic coup, what's going on with this, dude? Is this going to go away anytime soon? Um, something goes away in 1504, so we're fine there. Wait, hold on. Granted, the Admiral ship will go away. All right. That's fine, then. Are you shitting me? Come on. What are you guys doing? Holy shit. It's AI. You, you AI, you're dumb. You're dumb. All right, come on. I swear, you know what? Unrest needs to work by area instead of by province. It makes so much more sense. Let's take that a little early. It's fine. I go for, um... I do like the offensive hips. I'll go for Condado. So we get corruption because of unbalanced research. Uh, who got colonialism? I'm guessing Portugal. Are you serious? England? Wow. That's unfortunate.
take trade in Genoa. Choose the tune. This is over. Let's make sure. Um. Okay, so taking all that was pretty good. That was a pretty nice acquisition. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, although, yeah, this whole Diplo thing is, is hurting now. So, Jalof, Morocco, and Kong. Okay. Alright. Let's move the army over. Glad we took that military tick early, then. Let's go for, um... You know, we gotta, t we gotta tell, uh, Portugal that we desire this. Oh, we already did. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, we'll see if we can get these to Figuig. Damn, privileges. We got a lot of money. Uh, we don't need that. We do want barracks structures. I wouldn't mind a manufactory or two either. But I don't mind the barracks structures first. We'll see if I can get a few manufactories going. That'd be pretty cool. Um, that'll be a nice place to attack them. 30,000. We should get some uh, artillery. I could lighten up on the inventory a bit. Go, go, go for a bit of artillery. Although, really, like, you know, you don't need artillery until a little later. You don't need artillery until a little later. All right, we're gonna let the. Um, I guess we're gonna let our vassals and stuff do the heavy lifting. Fine with me. Yeah, they'll give this stuff back to Tefiolt. Cool. We got a. We got an air. Three five four. Strong claim air. Damn, that's a really good air. <laughs> Three five four. Hmm. That is acceptable to me, good sir. Okay, so we took that position, so let's go in and make sure we can hold that position. Yeah, we can walk through it. Yeah, we should we should get some Marty. Alright, that disaster's gone away. Corsica is now part of our patrimony. Let's see, so we got um, more morale and more tactics than the Moroccans, although he's got a little bit of artillery. You should only have as much inventory as your front line allows for. So we have a 25 combat width, so really, we should only be having... Right now, we should have 21 and 5. So we can actually get rid of 5 inventory units and replace those with artillery. Because as much as they don't matter for battles necessarily, at least not at this stage... They don't necessarily matter for battles right now. Let's get a general here. Wow! 1-5! Beautiful. Let's see, state firearm regiments? Sure. Yeah, they don't matter right now, but they do matter for, um... Do you have any siege? Yeah, the Castilians don't have any siege. Alright, I'll give you there then. Yeah, that's what I should do. Morocco, you bastard. Look at that. We've taken all the forts. So Portugal's focusing on Jalof, and I've taken everything here in Morocco. It's pretty nice. Wow, that was a good battle. That was a really good battle. Sweet. A noble can always lead. And I just recruited a general. <laughs> Why didn't you give me that event a little while ago? Bastards. Have we recorded these yet? 
Okay, so these are cords, so we should make these into states. Uh, we'll give Genoa to the burgers. Polish our armed regiments. Uh, the clergy and the nobility want a little more land. I can give the clergy this. I can give the nobility... Yeah, I'll give you Corsica. Damn, dude, we just stack wipe some people. Well, since he declared on Jalof, I'm going to keep everything here for myself. I'm going to keep all these occupations for myself so that he has to give me something. After all, we did agree to this war. He's going to have no choice. And we just took Marrakesh, too. So... Really? You can't get back those two? Come on! Little shit. Morocco will see it. I could hear to Portugal. Okay, so he takes the hit. He takes all the hit for that. Damn it! That's right, we didn't break his alliance with France. Mm hmm. What a good idea to do that. Full annexation was demanded to Jalof. Uh, we're gonna lose stability here. Why in the hell are we not integrating Naples? What the fuck? Yeah, why are we integrating Naples? That's weird. Why the hell did this stop, dude? Because we don't have any Diplo? Probably. Probably what it is. I'm guessing. Alright. Well, I mean, I could upgrade this guy. <laughs> we make quite a bit now. We make quite a bit of money for controlling that center of trade. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'll take the stability. Jesus, these nobility, they're always getting mad, dude, I swear. Okay, there's the Edge of Reformation. Okay, 1507 is when the annexation of Naples is going to be done. The Blasphemy Act? Yeah. We're not going to go tolerance to heretics, really. I mean, come on, we're Spain. <laughs> it's like, come on. Come on. Let's see, how many ships do we have? Uh, we've got a little bit of enforcement available. Both the land and the army. Not too bad. Um, I can annex this guy fairly soon. If I wanted to. I mean, we still have a little bit more that we can go. But, I mean, we could... T well, actually, these are these are fairly significant provinces. Seuss is 13 development, actually. Okay, there's a Dominic Reputation, so we just took over all of Naples. Okay, so we annexed, uh, let's see, integrate Naples. Okay. Now we get permanent claims over here. Cool. Let's see, Napoli. Yeah, he's only got one fort. It's in Napoli. That's fine. Latin Knights. Um, well, what we could do is we can make these into states. Okay. Napoli is the center of trade. Um, conquer new states, state maintenance, harsh treatment cost, sure. Okay. The bloody and the clergy want more land again. Well, clergy, I can give you. Well, actually, Salerno, that would go to the nobility. 
Ty bloody... Okay. I don't think I want these Latin Knights. Because the combo with is still only 25, so I don't think we need the Latin Knights, and I don't think we need these infantry either. I think we're going to go for Artie. Do we have the money to support that? I think so. We actually, we're making quite a bit of cash right now. What I do want is actually more, more light ships. Yeah, let's train you guys. How many artillery can we get? We can get 13 artillery. Holy shit. I think we get a combat with... Oh no, we actually don't. Okay. Alright. That's gonna be expensive as fuck. But, uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be nice. And then we got, we actually got quite a bit of naval force in it too, so that's good. Oh, okay. Okay, we're gonna be over the force mid a little bit then. So we're gonna cancel... There we go. Didn't I select, didn't I select 13? Am I going crazy here? Maybe. Okay, so France and Morocco are still allied to each other. Um, I mean, we could, we could annex this guy and just start conquering Morocco on our own. But, I mean, we already, we already do have the, um... We already do have the, uh, diplomatic reputation. You know, we, it's already, it's already hit us, so... Let's see, colonialism, colonialism is gonna hurt us, although Portugal's already got it. I could grab a minister for some extra admin points. We have a lot of money, so we can support it. We have a shit ton of cash. Yeah, gain one innovativeness for Tolerance of the True Faith minus one. It's not worth it. We get a 345 Queen Consort until our heir comes to power. That's pretty good. Look at that. 354 and a 345? That's pretty fucking good. We're, we're gonna catch up on, um... We're gonna catch up on Diplo, which is good. Yeah, we need to bust through this really fast. Because, uh, we don't want anybody to get this little here. Damn, I gotta say, this game's going pretty good for us. Oh, dude, Milan's been excommunicated. Look at that, only 50% aggressive expansion for a bunch of shit. And he's allied with Burgundy. Wait, what?! I was just gonna say, when the hell did this go back? When did this go back to Burgundy? Oh, you know what? This must have been unlawful territory. How long has that been like that? What the fuck? Jesus Christ, Lorraine. I have no idea how long this has been like that. That's probably been there forever. Holy shit, I literally did not notice that until right now. Jesus Christ. We do have six forts. It's quite a bit. I'm thinking about getting rid of this one. Or at the very least, the one down here in the Maghreb. Maybe I don't need this one after all. I don't imagine we're going to be doing battle too much in North Africa, so I'm, I'm willing to get rid of it. But, I mean, the one in Italy, and then the ones in my home province, and then the one in Genoa. The one in Genoa is actually extremely important. Yeah. You know, I would... I think I would declare a war against Milan, especially because it's excommunicated. However... One, we don't need it. Do we? No, I don't think so. So we need Tunisia, Tripoli, Iskandaria, Out of Vinegar, Dubrovnik. That's we do need Ragusa. You're protected by the Ottomans anyway. Like if we're ever to, if we're ever able to challenge the Ottoman navy at sea, we should totally do that. Hmm. See if we can privilege of this guy. Get him back to friendly so we can get some liberty desire. Okay, so Austria's gonna declare war on, um... Austria's gonna declare war on Venice. Oh, dude! 
Savoy is a personal union under France. Jesus. Yeah, this would be some seriously wealthy territory. It'd be nice to take it, but... It just, we have a lot of gross expansion in Northern Italy right now. We should wait. Anyway, I'm going to take a quick break here, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Consider supporting us on Patreon. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.